Hey guys, what's up? Another dude from scratch. We have yet another poor man's moving head totem. You can actually use this for any kind of light, be it a moon flower or maybe a gobo projector. I'm going to show you that later on in the video. But yeah, another option. We've already done three of these and here's the fourth. So before we go any further with this video, I thought we should probably review all the different options that we've explored, most of which have been viewer submitted ideas, which really shows you what kind of good community we have here. We've all come together and gathered information, gotten ideas from each other, and built some interesting stuff. This one came from our friend Chris Bedke, aka Chris Michaels, aka White Chris, out in Rialto, California. This was his idea, and I think I might like this best for my application. But again, let's take a look at all of our options, everything we've built, and talk about maybe how they might work for you. Here was option number one from DJ Mikey Mike. This was inspired by him. What we did was we took one of these guys right here. This is an on stage stands exterior mounting bracket, model number EB 9760 B. As you can see, it's a bracket that you can pretty much bolt anything you want onto. It's designed for speakers. We used it to bolt a small piece of wood onto, and I put some Velcro straps on here, and we stuck a little X-Move LED on top of it. Okay, so what do I think of this option? I like it for the X-Move, but quite frankly, it's kind of ugly and clunky, and it definitely looks homemade. Yeah, we could paint this board, and it would make it look a lot better, but we did find better solutions and probably more economical solutions if all you want to do is mount a small moving head like the X-Move LED or alternately the Chauvet Men's Spot. Let's take a look at those. Here's option number two. This is the LTS-6 system from American DJ. We've got a Chauvet Men's Spot LED buzzing around on top of here right now, but it also works fantastic for the X-Move LED from American DJ. We've got Scrim King on here. I'll take this off. You'll see it's a light duty tripod. You do get a little shape with this, so you don't want to put a big moving head on it. And you probably don't want to go way high up in the air with this, with anything any bigger than the X-Move LED. But you can also use it for moonflowers, like this. Here it is with the Revo 4. Now all you have to do to attach a moonflower or a small moving head onto the LTS-6 is take this piece of hardware provided with the kit, the wing nut on here, and attach your light onto it. This little shaft goes down inside of the tripod, screw down a little tightening screw, voila, you have a moving head or a moonflower stand. And you take Scrim King, uplight it, looks very cool. But it's probably not what you're going to want if you're going to use a bigger moving head like, say, the Vizzy LED spot. You're going to need something a little more sturdy. Now here's the heavy duty version of what we came up with. This is one of the crank stands from the American DJ's Duratrust system. And we've got a Vizzy LED spot mounted on top of it. It's a bigger moving head, about 20 pounds. If you want to send a moving head way up in the air, this is probably your best option. There is one more option that we can explore another day to send a moving head up in the air, but I don't think you're going to get any higher with any of the options that we've looked at than with this Duratrust crank stand. This is not the same as the Crank 2 stand. There's been some confusion with that. I think it's listed as the same thing as the Crank 2 stand, but it's indeed not. It is a different stand. What are the differences? We're still not exactly sure. Waiting for Brian to come back to America to take a look into that, find out for us. But it's not the same as the Crank 2. This is exclusive for the Duratrust system. It's got a crank on it. You can send it way up in the air, but I can't send it up too high today because the ceilings in the studio are very low. But yeah, if you want to shoot a moving head 10 feet up in the air and you want it to be sturdy, this is your best option right here. And now for our fourth option. We're going to use this on-stage tripod. On-stage stands, aluminum tripod, real lightweight. It's a speaker stand. It was a speaker stand that I was using before I got my Frankenstand, although Frankenstein would work for this option too. What we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right here. This is from Colorado Light and Sound. It's called the CLS Tripod Fixture Mount. Pretty simple. It's a piece of aluminum piping with a little nut on the top, a bit, well, big rubber nut actually, a hole right there. You can put a moonflower on here or whatever you want, and it sticks 
right there on top of your tripod. The only problem with this, because there's always a problem no matter what option we explore, is this rubber nut is way too big for the Vizzy LED spots. So let me show you what I did. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and take this nut off of here. Again, this is going to work perfect for a moonflower or something, but we just don't have the clearance that we need on this bracket for the Vizzy LED spot. Stick that on top like that. Here we've got a little screw and washer we got at the hardware store. This screw is the same size as this right here. You just kind of size it up. I always try to bring my stuff into the hardware store and dry fit it before I buy it. I'm using a washer in this case. Go ahead and stick that on there. Like so. I think this is a 7 16th size head on the screw. Just get it snug. And you should be good to go. Okay, once you have your bracket on the tripod fixed to your mount, you go ahead and stick that on top of your speaker stand, like so. And uh, before you put the moving head on there, let's go ahead and stick Scrim King on. It's the best place that I've found in this particular setup to put Scrim King on. Now, oddly enough, Scrim King, out of all things, inspired me to build this moving head stand and all the other moving head stands. If you look back, I don't know, maybe two months, I did an uplighting wedding. It looked really cool and I had a gobo projector. And I mounted the gobo projector on top of a tripod way up in the air and used Scrim King and got so many compliments on it. That was really the inspiration for doing this period. So now let's take the moving head, very carefully put it on top. It's so nice it has handles on it. it really makes things easy. Clip down the little lockdown nuts, screws, whatever they're called, and you're all set. And as we've said before, the only thing cooler than a Vizzy LED spot are two Vizzy LED spots. Solution number four to the poor man's moving head totem. I really like this solution because it's lightweight. I don't think that most of the time I'm going to need my moving heads 10 feet up in the air so the Duratrust system isn't always necessary. However, there probably are instances where I am gonna want the tripods or the moving heads way up in the air, so I will need the crank stands. Now, alternately, what you could do, a compromise to this, you could use Franken stands to shoot these things up. I would say, I don't know, what? Maybe a little over six feet in the air? That would be another good solution. So, there you go, tell me what you think. We've done several videos on this. Tell me which one you like the best. Tell me which one you think might work best for your particular application. Look forward to hearing from you. Take care, practice, and enjoy.